nice and cozy wherever you're at and that you're having a good day so far. Uh, today, I'm going to be sharing with you something really special to me, and that is my first ever completed sketchbook. It is the sketchbook I brought with me to Korea, so if you've been following along on my Korea vlogs, you probably have seen my sketchbook in there. This is my first completed sketchbook that I've ever done. I had such a big mental block with sketchbooks for a long time. That was something I really worked through when I was in Korea and working through my sketchbook because first and foremost, I made the sketchbook for myself so that I could remember this really special time in my life where I got to visit Korea. I really hope you enjoy this I was going to say vlog, this video, um, the sketchbook tour of my first ever finished sketchbook. I hope you enjoy going down memory lane with me as I go through some of my favorite memories of my time in Korea. This is the first couple of pages were done the day I arrived in Korea. And that was a really stressful day because we had so much stuff we had to figure out for quarantining and COVID stuff. And it was really stressful to say the least but we got everything figured out which was great but i was doing some doodles here in while i was stressing out about whether or not our quarantine plans would go through or all that but they did and so we arrived to our quarantine location and it was all the way down in the south in the, this area called yongam which is where my emo my aunt lives my mom's sister and so we stayed in quarantine there and this was the view from my window so i did like a little practice painting like it was probably the third day i got in korea and i did this little painting of the view outside my window and then some of these korean magpie birds that are there um there's i think they're their national bird i'm not totally sure but there were so many flying all around my window and I would look outside and it was just they're just so cute and very lively birds and then here I have some like watercolor things that I was practicing with and then this is like the more uh, refined version of what this painting was so I painted that this mountain range here that I did is sort of like a more impressionistic version of the mountains that I was looking at it's called the Warchusan Mountain, which means the mountain where the moon rises. And it was probably the most, one of the most gorgeous views I've ever seen in my life. It was just so dreamy to look outside there every day. And then there were like all these beautiful rice fields there. So I have some rice greens here. They weren't fully ripe yet. And so a lot of them were like in this beautiful spring green color. And in the fall, they turn this bright, bright yellow golden color, which means like they're ripe and ready to be harvested. And then here I have the little like rice field bird. It's like a egret, I believe it's what it's called. And it was so cute. It would always hang out there in the rice fields. And then here I did some more watercolor swatches. Well, it's not swatches, more doodles of just flowers and things I was practicing with. I had been working a lot with gouache in the past year. And so I really wanted to branch out and try watercolor again. I did a lot of experimentation of watercolor in the sketchbook. Here I have some figs. We had like figs almost every day. They were so, so delicious. Fresh figs. It was like fig season in Korea and I don't think I've eaten that many figs in my entire life. So delicious, especially when they're fresh. I would make like these fig toasts in the morning and I would put like cashew cashew butter on the toast and then have fig on top and it was so delicious. I loved it. And here I did some more watercolor patterns, some more mountain ranges, so daytime, evening mountains, some more fruits of the fruits I was eating, lots of figs and oranges. And then these purple circles are supposed to be grapes. They're Korean grapes and they're really delicious. And then here we have some more watercolor, practicing. Drew a lot of these magpie birds because they were just always flying outside my window when I was in Yongam and they were so cute and very playful. Did some with color swatches. This was like my first big spread, like full page spread in my sketchbook and it was all sharing the memories of my time in Yonga. So of course I have the magpie bird and then the egret and some flowers that my emo got for me and the teacup that she gave me as well. 
And here's the view of the mountains from my window. I watched Kiki's delivery service, so I wanted to put this cat here. There wasn't a cat with me, but I wish there was. So this is the first finished spread. And then the next one was when I was in Harong and I basically just painted all the things that I felt excited about when I was there. So like these butterflies and these beautiful red flowers that were blooming everywhere. They were blooming at the temple that we went to as well, this like Buddhist temple that we visited. And uh, there they had these beautiful lotus plants as well. And then this is like green tea fields and a little house, the mountains. Flowers and persimmon trees were plentiful there. There's so many. And I did some like sketching when I was visiting a green tea field and we stayed there because they had like a little Hanok cafe. And so we got to have some tea outside while looking at the mountains and all the persimmon trees. So that's little brief sketches that I didn't fully finish when I was there. And then here I have my color pencils that I was practicing with. Um, one of my goals this year was to practice more with color pencils and get better at it. And so here, as you can see, it's I'm just kind of playing around with it. Honestly, I really like how these persimmons look. I might do some in this style later, but I really enjoy playing around with those. And here's another full spread. I have these hibiscus Syracuse flowers that were blooming all over Korea as well and a little, there's just wildflowers everywhere especially in the countryside in Korea it's beautiful so I really wanted to paint those here and then here I painted um, the green tea fields in Harong and then also the persimmon trees that I saw there I love them and if you've been following my art account and seeing my stories I pretty much post about persimmons at least once a week because I love them they're one of my favorite fruits ever. And then, oh, I forgot about this little teapot. That was the pinpoint of this scene, the little teapot hanging on the persimmon tree, which I loved. And then here I painted uh, this at a park that we were at in Harong. And it was a really like cozy day. We were just outside and I was underneath these beautiful trees that I tried to draw or paint here. And so I did some like watercolors, watercolor painting of that time there. And then here I did a painting of my sister amongst some zinnia flowers that we saw on the side of the road when we were driving through the mountains in Harong. Here I did a little pen sketch of some geese and ducks and trees that I saw at this garden that I went to that was really beautiful. It was in Suncheon and um, it was a, such a gorgeous garden and I just really wanted to remember that day and so I took out my pen and did some drawings. Then here I have like all the food that I had been enjoying that week and it's of course, there's kimchi here and some, um, what's it called? Zucchini, tofu, persimmons, of course, lotus, fried lotus, grapes, um, a lot of chilies. It was so delicious. When I was in Korea, I was eating vegetarian because my emo is a vegetarian and my mom is becoming a vegetarian. And so we had a lot of delicious veggie foods and they were so colorful as well like i was really amazed and in wonder of just like how much variety of food you can get from just like vegetables and the amount of color that was in my plate was a dream come true because i just love a colorful meal and every time i would eat in korea it was always an array of colors on my plate and it made the food even more delicious so I really enjoyed that. Here I painted some of the ocean. Uh, we visited this island called Jindo Island and had a really enjoyable time there. My emo got me some seashells that I ended up doing some watercolors of. And then here I wanted to paint some more of my day in the gardens in Sunchon. 
And so I, I wrote this wrong here, but I wanted to paint some of the images that I saw there. And so I was really excited about painting this page. I remember like painting this at midnight and feeling so excited about this page because I painted also this meal that's like my favorite meal I've ever had. It was all made out of like acorn, acorn powder, veggies. It was like a whole vegan meal and it was so beautiful and colorful and absolutely delicious. We had like this acorn broth soup that was, I w I'm just like remembering it right now and I'm just very like, I just really want it. I want it again. It was so good. It was so good. And then some more of just different moments of my time in Korea so far here. All right, here we have traveled up north and this is to Sokcho, which is where I spent my birthday. This was actually my second time being in Sokcho and I felt like it was so special being there because last time I was there, I was like in middle school or something. And I was really young. I was probably like beginning middle school, I think. And now I am back. I went back in my 20s and I turned 26 there. And I, this is sort of like memories, a collage of memories of how I spent my birthday, which you can see in my Sokcho vlog, which is one of my favorite vlogs that I've made so far. And here's some more Sokcho memories. It was raining a lot there, so I, I try to do a lot of like rain and rainy clouds here as well. And there's some more Sokcho memories. This was from the neighborhood that we saw um, behind one of my favorite cafes that I share in my vlog as well. And then here we were back in Yongam, which is where my emo lives. And so this is where I did some more drawings of like the tea and dok that we had. It was so good. And of course, persimmons. And then here, this page I actually did for Peachtober. It was, the word of the day was heart. And so I wanted to do like an anatomical heart and have like an image of a scenery I saw in Korea. And so I did this big persimmon tree in the a uh, Hanok um, style home here and like this wall and flowers and just really enjoyed doing this page. Then here I drew this page when I was in Seoul actually. We went all the way up to Seoul which was towards the end of my trip and I remember drawing this in the hotel. We were at the Lotte Hotel and it was like I had like such little room to draw. It was like tiny tiny desk the bed was literally crammed up against my chair. <laughs> it was such a small room, sharing it with my mom and sister. And I remember drawing this and being like, I just need to relax because it was such a long trip. And we were just, I was just feeling so tired and I really wanted to unwind. So I painted this page of just different things that I had seen so far in Korea. And I really enjoyed, especially how this, um, this squash plant turned out. I really liked how that, how I did that. Then here I have a spread of just how, what it was like in Seoul and different memories, like this little uh, hanbok shop. Uh, we were right next to Inserong, and so I went there all the time just walking down the street, and it was one of my favorite places to go. It was the arts district pretty much of Seoul, and it was, oh, it was so beautiful. I loved going there and visiting. And then here's some more. These were some color swatches of watercolors that I got from a art shop that I went to in Insorong and it's called Shin Art Watercolors and they are one of the most beautiful watercolors I've ever worked with. The pigment is so vibrant and beautiful and it was so cheap. I think each one was about like a USD dollar like each one was like a dollar which is wild because America they like, really expensive but this was like high quality paint for me and I loved using them and then here this was I actually drew this on the plane on the plane ride home um it was a way for me to just kind of reflect on the trip and another collage of my week in Seoul I painted some of this like woman wearing hanbok dresses which I saw a lot there um, you can actually rent hanbok dresses when you're in Seoul and 
go into places. I think they give you a discount or you get to go in for free if you wear one. And I really wish I'd done that, but we just didn't have enough time. So hopefully one day when I go back again, I can do that. And then here is the meal that I ate at one of my mom's favorite restaurants that she used to go to when she was in college. And so that was really special to go and see where she, she used to go when she was young and remember that moment. And then this is me at one of my favorite clothing shops. And uh, this was in Myeongdong and I got this dress that I absolutely fell in love with. I was like, you're coming home with me and I'm going to wear you all the time. So I wanted to remember this dress and so I drew that and then some flowers and just some sweets and treats that I enjoyed there. When I was in the plane, one of the flight attendants came over and was like, oh, oh no, you spoiled. Like just saying like, oh, it's so pretty. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> I felt very um, encouraged and affirmed. All right, here's my last page. We spent the day with some of my dad's friends that were in town in Korea. And so they took us around and we got to go to this beautiful art museum. And I got to see some beautiful art made by Korean artists. And so I did some studies of the different art that I really enjoyed and liked. And so I did this whole page and spread for that and did a little study. There were all these beautiful pink muley grass right outside the museum. and. Took, I took so many pictures of it and it was so pretty. I'd never seen pink grass like that before. And I really just wanted to remember that because it was so special to see that. And then I saw this super, super cute kitty. Her name is Spring. She just lives outside of the art museum and hangs out. And so I just wanted to remember her as well. And yeah, this was... That's pretty much it. We're at the end of my sketchbook. Thank you so much for joining in with me and going through all these memories. I am so grateful to have the sketchbook and to remember all the beautiful moments that I've been able to make while I was in Korea. Hope you enjoyed the sketchbook tour and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.